Hello guys, what is going on? My name is Bragg, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited today because I'm talking about one of my most favorite lenses, the Sony 16-35mm f4. It is a lens that I use all the time and I'm super excited. Let's get started. I bought the Sony 16-35mm f4 when I first purchased the Sony a7 III. When you put this lens on something like the Sony a7 III and you're holding it handheld with both the image stabilization in the lens and the image stabilization in the camera itself, it literally looks like the camera's on a tripod. Now, to take it to the next level, having an image stabilized lens with an image stabilized camera body and something like a Xeon crane, that's gonna get your shots like this. On the way to being free. Now this lens is a little chunker. It's made out of mostly metal. The zoom and focus rings are both metal as well. And on the back, the thing that I like about this lens is the part where you connect it to the camera. I should probably know what that's called. Anyway, it's metal. It just provides a much better uh, connection to the camera body. I hate when you have like a plastic lens, like the back of the lens is all plastic and you click it in and it just sounds rough and gross. Like mostly video, like this lens is so amazing. It's got the image stabilization, it's super sharp. It's at the most perfect zoom range if you're gonna be doing video. Um, so I would definitely recommend this to someone who's starting out on a YouTube channel and has the budget to actually purchase it. I love everything about this lens, but if someone asked me, you have to pick out something that you don't like about this lens, I would say the only thing that I can pick on if I'm being super nitty gritty is that if you go from 35 millimeters down to 16 millimeters, the lens does come out. So it's not internally zooming, which is something that I'm a bit like, uh, about. But for the price you pay for this, I don't expect that to be any different. If I get rich enough, if I win the lottery, I might buy the GM version, the 16-35 2.8. The only reason why you would upgrade to the GM is if you were shooting something like indoors or you're doing like nightclub photography or you're gonna do something, at, like you do a lot of stuff at night. Then I would understand the jump to the 2.8, but for the meantime, I'm loving the F4. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Um, and consider subscribing. I am new around here and I am going to be creating videos weekly on filmmaking and photography. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out of here. It didn't work.